considering moving to Castle Rock or somewhere in the Denver metro area, well, we're gonna be talking about the 11 best neighborhoods and places to live in the city of Castle Rock. My name is Landon Bellum. I'm an associate broker and the marketing manager for Modestate. Modestate is a real estate agency that is actually located right here in the heart of Castle Rock. And I have personally lived in Castle Rock for over 15 years now, so I'm very, very familiar with the city and great places to live here. Castle Rock, first off, has an amazing location. The city is located about 30 minutes south of Denver and about 30 minutes north of Colorado Springs. So it's a great and easy commute for both of those places if that's where you're looking to go. Maybe if you're working there or like to spend time in those cities on the weekends. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in with the number one, the top neighborhood to live in in Castle Rock, Colorado, and that is the Meadows. If you're at all familiar with Castle Rock, maybe you've been here before, you've probably heard of or seen the Meadows. The Meadows is right on the west side of I-25 and it is huge. It is probably the biggest community in Castle Rock to live in. There are tons of different types of homes in the Meadows, but for the most part, you're gonna see single family residences, which nowadays are selling between the, you know, maybe the low 500s if it's, if it's an older home, to, you know, a lot of them are gonna be in the six, 700s, and you'll even find some homes in the Meadows going to the 800s, 900s, and even over a million dollars in price. It's a very coveted, coveted location in the city of Castle Rock. That's why the price is so high. The Meadows comes with tons of amenities. There's a couple pools in the area, some amazing schools, and great restaurants to choose from. The local theater is actually located in the Meadows, which is very convenient for those who like to go see movies on the weekends or on the weeknights. I'm currently right here at the MAC, which is a giant recreational area here. There's a venue, there's an amphitheater, there's an incline with over 200 steps, tons of trails. This is just one of the areas here. There's even a, a movie theater. The local movie theater in Castle Rock is located in the Meadows. And uh, the outlet mall is also very close. And there's even a giant hospital just right at the heart of this neighborhood. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second best neighborhood in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in. This neighborhood is the terrain. I have personally been living in the terrain for over 15 years. And when I started there, um, it was very small, but since then it has switched developers a couple of times and right now it is growing. It's probably one of the fastest growing neighborhoods in Castle Rock next to probably Crystal Valley. The terrain is great. There's a couple of pools there, some amazing parks, a lot of single family residences, which is pretty much all that you're going to find in the, in the terrain is single family homes. Um, you won't really find condos or townhomes there. But uh, the prices are going to be very comparable to the rest of Castle Rock. Sometimes you'll find some homes in maybe the 500s, but as of right now with the market and how it's going, they're for the most part going to be in the 600s, 700s, 800s, and even sometimes the $900,000 range. The terrain has tons of trails, tons of areas to explore, two pools, and it even has an elementary school that's located right in the middle of the neighborhood. And it's just a great, great neighborhood to live in. Let's talk about the third best neighborhood in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in, and that is Crystal Valley. Crystal Valley is another one of those neighborhoods that is developing like crazy. And here in the next few years is gonna be one of the biggest and best neighborhoods, not only in Castle Rock to live in, but in like the South Denver suburbs. Crystal Valley is great. There's some amazing parks, some amazing trails. It's located in this gorgeous open space. Homes there, again, are around, you know, the, they're the single family residences for the grand majority, and you're gonna see them in the $600,000 to $800,000 range. You will find some luxury living there in Crystal Valley, but you're not really gonna find many, you know, townhomes or condos or anything like that, and you're not gonna find a whole bunch that's under that $600,000 range. You might find something here and there, uh, but for, for the most part, expect to pay a little bit over $600,000 uh, to live and find a home in Crystal Valley. Let's jump right into the fourth best neighborhood in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in, and that is Red Hawk. Red Hawk is right next to the Meadows and right around like the movie theater area in Castle Rock. Red Hawk has an amazing golf course, which you can see from a lot of the high points in Castle Rock. You can see it and know that that's the Red Hawk area. There's a great charter school in the area, and it is full of amazing single family residences, which are new and very modernized. Homes in Red Hawk are gonna be very similar to a lot of the home prices in those nice kind of higher end suburb areas in Castle Rock. 
you'll find them maybe in the 600s, but for the most part in Red Hawk, expect to pay over $700,000 for a single family residence. Jumping into the fifth best neighborhood in Castle Rock, Colorado, we're gonna talk about Plum Creek. The Plum Creek area is south Castle Rock, but not quite as far south as Crystal Valley. It, that's where like the Safeway is, it's right around downtown Castle Rock, and it's right by, like the Plum Creek area is actually like right where the last southernmost exit of I-25 is. Plum Creek is great, it's one of the older neighborhoods and communities in Castle Rock, so you'll find some older homes, some more affordable homes as well, but you'll also find some newer, larger uh, communities. But in this area, you can expect not only single family residences, but some townhomes, which are amazing. You can find some really good townhomes in this area that are in the $300,000 to you know $500,000 range. And you can also find some condos too, which are very affordable. There's even like $200,000, like a, a town, like a condo community in the Plum Creek area called Sellers Landing, which has uh, you know town or condos for like $200,000, which you can't find anywhere in the South Denver region right now. Let's jump right into the sixth best neighborhood and community in the Castle Rock area, which is Castlewood Ranch. Castlewood Ranch is located in Castlewood Canyon. Maybe some of you have been there or hiked there before. It's one of the best places in the Denver metro area to hike. It's gorgeous. We'd go there in elementary school. Fantastic place to explore and hike and go on trails. It has a range of different homes. There's some older areas and communities there, but there's also some luxury living. And there's also just, you know, newer single family residences there. They're building up some new communities in the area, some new uh, developments, and you can find some great new builds there as well. You might find some homes in this in the Castlewood area to be in the $400,000 range, but for the most part, I would expect homes to be in the 500s and above. If you're going for some of those luxury homes, you can definitely expect them to be in the millions just because they're larger and in Castle Rock and in a really good area that has incredible views. All right, let's chat a little bit about our seventh best neighborhood in Castle Rock, Colorado, and that is Founders Village. This is a surprising one, maybe to some of you if you're, if you're familiar with Founders, but uh, it's an older community. It's been around for a long time. You can find homes that were built in the 80s, maybe even earlier in Founders Village. I was actually looking at one for myself and my family a few, a few months back that was built in the 80s. So you'll find some older homes in Founders Village and you'll find some more affordable and smaller homes there too. So if you're looking to get in the Castle Rock, Colorado area, but looking to do it affordably, which is very difficult to do as most of the neighborhoods we've talked to above you know, up until this point have been above $600,000 for a single family residence, sometimes well above that. Uh, Founders Village is a very affordable place to live compared to that. You can get homes that are smaller, older, around the 1200 square feet range for somewhere in the $400,000 range, which is incredible. Sometimes less, actually. I saw some list for $350,000 uh, a couple months back. So you can you can find affordable single family residence single family residences in Founders, but you can also find some newer stuff. There are some new townhomes going up in the area that are in the 400s, get up to the 500s as well. And you'll find some newer homes and some great great opportunities there, but for the most part, I would expect around the $500,000 range at this moment in the market for homes in Founders Village. Uh, Founders is a great community. It's a large community, very similar to the Meadows, but it has an older, uh, an older feel to it and kind of a smaller feel to it. But it's a large community with a few different elementary schools, a few different pools, and it's got some great parks and just some great areas to explore. So it's a great place to live for sure. Coming in at number eight on our list of the best neighborhoods in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in is Diamond Ridge. If you're looking for luxury living, then look somewhere in the Diamond Ridge area. These are incredible luxury homes that come on with, that come with some land. Uh, other neighborhoods in the Diamond Ridge area are Timber Canyon, Puma Ridge. Uh, I think the other one is called like Pina Soleil. It's something like that. Uh, but these are great luxury living options in the Castle Rock, Colorado area. I knew some of you were looking for uh, me to note on one of those luxury neighborhoods in Castle Rock and Diamond Ridge or the Diamond Ridge area is a phenomenal choice. I know many people that live in Diamond Ridge. It is an incredible neighborhood and you will absolutely love it. It's located kind of secluded, so it's, it takes a little bit more time, a few more minutes than maybe the train or the meadows would uh, to get to like Castle Rock or the movie theater or restaurants. Um, but that also comes with some pros, you know, it, it, it's uh, uh, got some beautiful views and things like that. It's located right next to Sapphire Point, which comes in at number nine on our list of the top neighborhoods in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in. Sapphire Point is another Castle Rock classic. 
Uh, we actually looked at moving there. My family did when we were uh, moving to Castle Rock a, over a decade ago, but we ended up going with the terrain instead. But Sapphire Point is great. It is located, um, you know, a little bit farther out. So you kind of have to go down Crowfoot to, for a few minutes before you get to Castle Rock. So a lot of people didn't find that too appealing. There's only one entrance to get in and out. So, you know, if you're in deep in the neighborhood, it's a little bit tough to get around, but it's a great, a great place to live, great homes. You'll find them affordably. They're, the community is for the most part done building. So you won't find much uh, new developments there. Number 10 of our, on our list of Castle Rock's best neighborhoods is Montaigne. The Montaigne area is a newer area, newer development, tons of new homes, tons of new opportunities for new builds and creating the perfect home that you want to choose. It's located near Ca Crystal Valley, so it's kind of southern Castle Rock area. And some of these homes are going to be quite expensive because they are new builds and an up and coming uh, community that is going to be huge in the next few years. So now's a great time to get into the Montaigne. You can, unless the market does some crazy turn and dips down like crazy, you can definitely expect, expect homes in Montaigne to appreciate in value a lot over the coming years. Uh, because these are new builds, I mean, the price is what you want it to be. You know, they'll probably start out around the $700,000 range, but by the time you get done with a new build, you can expect it to be much more than that. So um, that's what I would say about the Montaigne. I don't know much about it because it is a newer community. It's up and coming, but it's going to be one of Castle Rock's best uh, here coming soon. Which leads us into Macanta. Macanta, not sure how you want to say that. I probably say it differently than most people do, but this is a neighborhood off of Crowfoot, very close to Sapphire Point and Diamond Ridge, just on the other side of Crowfoot. A new community, you'll find homes in here for the millions, you'll find homes in here for the 700,000s, you'll find homes in here in the 800,000s. Single family residences at its finest. This is a new community, these are new homes, and if you want a new build, this is going to be a great place to do it. What's nice about this neighborhood is that it's located right in between, well, just a few minutes what is that, west of Parker. So if you need to get to Parker a lot, but still want to live in Castle Rock, the Macanta neighborhood, this newer community is a great place to build a home or find. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That sums up my list of the top 11 neighborhoods in Castle Rock, Colorado to live in or move to. These are great communities. If you're looking for a place in the Denver metro area or in the suburbs or somewhere south of Denver, this is the place, Castle Rock, Colorado, is amazing and it's beautiful as you can see throughout this video. Thanks for watching the video. Again, my name is Landon. I'm the marketing manager and an associate broker at Mod Estate. We have a lot of other YouTube videos that are out and a lot that are coming that are on the horizon. So subscribe to the channel to get more valuable content about market trends in the Colorado, Denver, greater Denver area, uh, best neighborhoods, best cities to live in, everything like that, pros and cons. Tons more guides are coming out. We're here to help you find the best value to find the perfect fit. So uh, check out, I'll link our blog post in the description that has uh, a full breakdown of each of these top 11 Castle Rock neighborhoods for you to check out. I put everything from current listings in these neighborhoods for you to look at to see if there's any good fits for you, uh, to you know the median home price, everything that you can need to know about these Castle Rock neighborhoods I have in that blog post. So check it out in the, in the description and we'll see.